You just opened Thinkorswim for the first time and your chart looks like this. By the end of this video, it'll look like this. And I'm even going to throw in a couple of custom coded indicators, a strategy, and a watch list. Hit the like button if you're excited and let's go. Let's talk chart appearance first, as that's the easiest thing to change that's going to have an everlasting impact on our trading in this application. If I click on this cog up here, I'm going to jump into appearance and I'm going to fill my green candles up. I don't know why, are they, why they are defaulted to be empty. I think you're a psychopath if you trade like this personally, but I'm gonna color mine in and then we're gonna come down here to volume bars and we are going to color this the same as the symbol ticks as well. If you hit apply, of course, you see it make the changes. Next, I'm going to come into the time axis tab here, and I like to give my chart a little bit of a right expansion area. You see how right now this last bar is colliding with the side of the chart? If you give that a little expansion area, I do five bars. This just looks a lot cleaner to me. I also like to turn off all these vertical lines as well. I think it just looks more clear like that. And actually, if I go back into appearance, I turn off this grid. Of course, all that is subjective, as well as every everything else in here. So I'm not going to go too deep into this modal because it's all you need to set up the chart how you feel looks the best. And it's all really low impact. You can change any of this stuff. See if you like it. Go change it back. So we're going to leave the appearance like this for now. Chart looks pretty now. That's all fine and dandy. Trey, how do I take trades? How do I actually up the functionality of my charts. Come up here, click on this cube. First thing I wanna show you is that from the charts tab, which we are on, you can set multiple charts in any grid array that you want. So if I wanted to look at nine charts, I could set it up this way. We're not gonna do that right now. I just wanted to show you that functionality while we're here. What I'm gonna come down to is show sidebar in cells, and that's going to open this up, and this allows us to open our other modals. And the one that we're going to use to actually trade stocks is called active trader from here you can obviously set your quantity buy or sell market uh, set your time and force set your template this is how you place orders this is how you trade within thinkorswim you can also click on the active trader cog here and you can add all kinds of different buttons maybe you don't like market orders there's a lot of people out there that just, they trade lower liquidity stuff so market orders really don't work for them they need limit orders so then you would add you know your buy Buy ask, just simply double click. Buy bid, simply double click. Sell ask, sell bid, simply double click. If I hit OK, you will see them down there. And then on this side, they are simply draggable. So if you drag buy ask and buy bid up, etc., you will see them move now to the top of the modal. That's how you adjust that. This is a setup video, not a functionality video. So if you want to learn more about how this active trader window works, I actually already have a video on it. I'll put it in a link at the top right corner right now. If you click on that, it'll open in a new tab. Give it a watch after this video. But um, next, let's show you kind of other things that are within this. You can also turn on time and sales from this. A lot of people, once again, this is all subjective, dependent to how you trade, need to see the time and sales for their strategies. That's how you do that. Um, you can come down to your level two. If you want to see a level two, now I will warn you, the level two in Thinkorswim is not necessarily all that useful because what the Thinkorswim level two is doing is it's showing you the largest order from each exchange. So you're not actually seeing the full depth of how many orders are sitting there. Actually, a better way to do that is to look at your bid size and ask size right here in your trade ladder. You can see better depth there, but you can't get a great further looking out depth with think or swim level two. You might have to use a third party level two if that's the if that's something you need. Live news, if you're a news trader, if you're trading pre-market, I have a pre-market strategy that is news driven. I have my live news turned on, or if you just want it on so you can see what's going on with the day, this obviously updates in real time with any relevant news information coming out about any stock you're looking at. So if I go to, you know, NVIDIA, it'll load NVIDIA news, Micron, Micron news, um, save, it'll load the Spirit Airlines news. Everyone's talking about this stock right now, but all of that will load automatically in real time from the live news modal here as well. So now just for beautification's sake, I'm gonna come back in 
turn off show sidebars and cells. And now you're all set up. Your charts are pretty and you have the ability to trade the charts. Now, how do you find stocks to trade? How do you know what to trade? How do you know what out there is fitting your systems, right? That's where we jump into scanners and that's where we jump into this left side panel here. So there's just a little arrow. If you can see that I'm clicking there, that expands this left panel. And you have all kinds of different modals inside of this panel. If you click on the settings down here, um, I believe you can add in different modals or this plus button rather. You can add in different gadgets, they are calling them. All kind, of, you can literally play Tetris apparently inside of your uh, left banner here if you're bored, but <laughs> I don't know why that exists. That's kind of funny. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about scanners today because that's what's the most important, being able to find stocks to trade. This, of course, is a custom scanner of mine, and in just a second, I'm going to give it to you. So stick around pause stick around uh, I'll, I'll let you have this scanner in just a second but i just want to show you that if you click on this this is where you can scroll through your different scanners and you're going to have a, a bunch of di uh, a bunch of public ones available to you uh, out of the box here so if you want to click through look at how some of these look like all these ones saved as personal are ones that i have created myself um and that's what is currently loaded up. And I want to show you if I expand this bar over a little bit more. So just grab and drag it. You can see that there is a link setting here. I already have all of my watch lists sent to number nine color lilac. On your chart right here, there is a blank link. And if I set this to nine lilac, then whatever stock I just one click, I'm just left clicking once on this watch list, as you can see, is automatically being loaded onto my chart, which is a very useful function within Thinkorswim. Real quick, one last thing. I just want to show you also that within your scanner gadget here, if you click on this small little cog and hit customize, this is where you can set the what shows in these columns, right? So maybe you don't want to see net change, percent change in volume. You want to see something different that can all be changed from that little cog there. Okay, next let's talk about how to put indicators on your chart. And this is going to be a perfect segue into the custom codes I'm about to give you towards the end of this video. So if I click on studies, edit studies, you can choose from a ton of out of the box indicators, your RSI, MACD, stochastics. I mean, there's literally thousands of different things in here. I have also custom coded a ton of different indicators myself as well. So I'm going to add my volume labels indicator on and I'm going to hit apply and you will see my volume labels appear here. I'm going to give you this indicator in just a second. There is also strategies within Thinkorswim. This is sort of maybe next level up in knowledge on Thinkorswim, maybe above this video. But from here, you can load in and code real trade strategies, right? You can tell the code how you want to take trades and the code won't actually take those trades. Thinkorswim is not a quant. It's not an algo trading software, but it will load the trades as they would be taken according to how you told the code to do it so that you can then pull back test data from that information, right? Actually, if I come in and go back to edit studies and I turn on the floating PL study, you will also see that from the strategy, you can see what the PL of the strategy would be, right? So I'm also going to give you this strategy in just a second, and I'm going to give you this scanner, which returns the stocks to trade with this strategy in just a second. So I'm about to give you a few free custom codes of my own. And if you enjoy them, and if you would like access to all of my custom codes, daytradingstrategies.net, link at the top of the description, you'll be able to download every code I've ever made and every code I will ever make going forward as I am always creating new ones. I add at least one new code to this website a week. So you're always getting new codes as well to stay up to date on ever-changing market conditions. But I'm gonna show you an example of how it works right now as I'm about to give you one of these strategies. So if I go into strategies, I'm going to be giving you a swing trading strategy today and it's going to be the large cap runners swing trading strategy. So within the strategy, within the code, you're going to get a synopsis of the strategy. So say you don't care about code, say you don't have think or swim, say you don't care about writing or code or any of this automation stuff, you're even going to get the strategies in plain English. So even that comes with value, right? But 
Here's your bread and butter, your share link right here. I'm going to copy this. Of course, you're going to get access to all the source code here as well. But I copied that share link. And now we're going to jump back into our thinkorswim here. And I'm going to go to setup in the top right. Let me actually make this so that you can see it. If I go to setup there in the top right and I go to open shared item, I paste that share link code directly from daytradingstrategies.net. I hit preview. I hit import. Trading runners large cap has been imported. I would then come into my studies. I would type in uh, on my strategies. I would go to trading uh, runners large cap and I would just simply double click and add it to the chart. And then it would be run on the chart after hitting apply. So as you can see, just with three or four clicks there in a couple of seconds, you can have any and all of my custom codes that I've spent hundreds of hours of making into your thinkorswim chart. So use that link, use any link on that website. Once again, link at the top of the description down below. But let's go ahead and talk about it. So if I jump into this code, I will talk about this strategy with you all. And I will put the share link to this strategy so that you don't have to write it down from the website. I will put this share link and the other two I'm about to give you in the description of this video as well. So you can scroll down and copy them. But here is the source code for the strategy. And what this strategy is doing is it's looking for stocks that have been strong over a certain amount of percent change over the last three days. And then it is getting in and it is riding the strength until a pullback, which stops it out below a certain ATR level. That's this strategy. If we come down and talk about this volume bar indicator, you can see what this is showing. Total volume, current bar volume, previous bar volume, and this current bar volume will change color. So if a current bar, let me see if I can find an example. Is there a current bar that has a higher daily than yesterday? Here, DWAC currently, wow, what in the heck? Anyway, DWAC, geez Louise, currently has a higher volume than the bar yesterday. So you can see it's green. And then it's also showing its 50 moving day average. Those from the cog of this bar, any of them can be turned off or that daily average can be changed. Say you want to see last five days instead of the last 50. You're now seeing that. That indicator also share link at the, in the description down below. Obviously also available on the website. Now, Let's talk about this uh, scanner. If I hop over to my scanners and I make sure I load my runners, my runners swing. Oh, there it's right there. Runner swing large cap. This is the scanner. All this is doing. So I just showed you the code of the strategy and showed you that it needs to be looking at percent change over the last three bars. So it's making sure it's doing that to looking and only returning those stocks and that are also meeting certain volume metrics. And this is a large cap strategy. So over $500 million in market cap and not Oh, and not a penny stock. The share link for this scanner, obviously also available in the description down below and on the website. So for, please, I am not telling you to just take this strategy and go start trading it. That's not the point. The point is that you get a strategy that you can then test. You can then derive data from to fit to your own trade style, right? Because you can only profitably trade your own style. You can only trade what fits your emotional control and your out desired outcome of trading. So please don't just take the code and go blindly start trading it. But Pull things from it. Learn how the code works. Learn how system trading works. There's a ton of value in just having other people's systems so much more than just blindly trading them, right? So take them, use them how you will. You also got this volume indicator and the scanner for the study. So a lot of value in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you found some value. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new around here, subscribing is free and I make videos like this near daily. So if you're making it to the end of the video, make sure you're subscribed. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video, but I'm going to link you all to my full thinkorswim tutorial from a few months ago. Check that out next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. 